Hey guys, since the new political year is coming into full swing, I thought we might need to stop and focus on what our government actually does. So this week we are going to discuss what the government does in all three branches. And you have, I'm not going to read all these to you, we're in government class. So you have the executive branch, which is the president, all the things the president does in his cabinets. The judicial branch, which has the Supreme Court and the judicial system. And then the legislative branch, ugh, branch which has the House of Representatives and the Senate. <clears throat> so we're going to discuss all these in details, what they do, what their jobs are, how old they have to be, how they get voted into office and things like that. And at the end, I'm just going to have you look up who our representative is, which we have more than one. Well, we have one in our district. How long they've been in office and what are some of their ideas and issues that you're interested in. And then here, I'm actually going to take off right now because I have a separate part I want to do for that. And that's going to be this. So we are going to talk about three branches of government, and then we are going to do this activity. I did this activity six years ago, and it was a lot of fun, and I'm going to do it again and try to make some changes to it. So we are going to come up with a set of rules or changes you like to see happen at the school. And this can be anything. We're going to have a discussion on this in the class. If you're virtual, you can meet with me on Mondays or Tuesdays to discuss them. But, I mean, it could be anything you would like to see change at the school. With the cafeteria, with recess, with activity, with ISS, with classrooms, with lessons, anything that you can think of. We can make an idea or a rule as something that you like to see happen at the school. And once you come up with at least five items, either rule changes or different things you want to do, we can discuss how to be implemented. Then as a class, we will act out. We will then, oh, what happened? As a class, we will vote to see if the majority of the class agrees with the rules. So that will be acting as a legislative branch because that has the House of Representatives and the Senate. And if the House agrees on a bill or a set of rules, then it goes to the Senate to vote on. If the Senate agrees, then it goes to the executive branch. Oh, but we're going to send it to the judicial branch, which will be me. And again, once the set of rules agree upon it, then go to the court to be ruled upon. So then we're going to act up court scenes where you or one of your friends or me can be the judge and you'll have to rule and see if the rules or changes are constitutional and i say constitutional because our country was founded on the united states constitution but we're not going to use the constitution for our rules we're going to use a school handbook because that is what our school is founded on and even all of you have agreed to follow those rules at the beginning of the year when you sign that paper and if you do or don't remember it so as it says down here if we do say that these rules could be done or they make sense or fair ways to do whatever changes you want then we can send them to the executive branch which is usually the president but in our case that would be our administrators which is Ms. Lolita and Mr. Nikes. So I feel this would be a fun activity to do this week. Um, next week we're going to be talking about how we can fight and understand fake news which we know is going on a lot right now but I feel like we need to know what the basic branches of government are and what our representatives even do for us because people vote for them all the time and then have no idea what they even do. They get paid hundreds of thousands of dollars a year just to say yes, no, yes, no. But we'll dig, dig deeper into that this week. So I can't wait to go over this with you guys. I can't wait to hear some of y'all's crazy ideas, but I am ready and I'll see y'all on Monday.